on out to the edge of the chair. And welcome to my Silver Sneakers Flex Chair Yoga class. Let's begin at the edge of the seat. Since I forgot to turn it on. All right, feet right underneath your knees. I'm gonna take my hands and just gently place them there. Actually kind of roll into the fingernails. And then maybe give your thigh muscles a little bit of love. Sort of roll them around, maybe squeeze with your fingernails, and not your fingernails, your, your, your the pads of your fingers there. Yeah, give them a little love, a little self-care, all right? Let the elbows draw down towards your hips. Tuck the chin just a little bit. As the, elbow, as the shoulders draw away from your ears, you're on the tip of the sit bones. Close your eyes once again. Mountain pose. Seated mountain pose. And remember when you leave here, we're going to look just like this, right? Broad collarbones. And let's begin to roll the shoulders around. Crackling, popping, maybe, as long as there's no pain, all right? And again. One more time. We're going to come and die surrender. So arms up. Yes, reach up in front of the face first and then draw them down towards the hips. Draw the elbows down towards the hips. Up and down. It's easy. Find that range of motion for you. Notice any new sensations, especially the ones you don't like. <laughs> and again, let's hold this I surrender right here. Press the elbows back just a little bit. Now, I'm going to bring this elbow over. It's not going to make it, but I'm going to look towards that hand, open it up, so this is just moving in the core. And back. Hold that right one there. Bring the left one over to meet it as best you can. And again. One more time. All right. Let them hang and let them swing. <laughs> All right, reach forward. Pull back. And again, reach forward. Let's take the outside edge of the hands together and pull back. Tuck the chin as you reach forward. Bring the elbows back, lift the heart. And again, just moving slowly through this. Just a nice steady breath. Or rhythmically, I would say. And exhale, inhale, one more time. Drop that left hand down on the thigh. And circle that right arm around. And again, now as you get to the back, maybe reach back a little bit more. Right? So you're going to roll towards the back side of the sit bones, maybe. Like you've got to reach back another inch. And to do that, you fire on the core muscles here a little bit. So navel in. One more time. And around. Reach to the ceiling. Deep breath in. Forward fold. Halfway rise, bring that heart forward. Ah, oh. ah, oh. feels so good. <laughs> and circle sweep. Right arm down, left arm circles around. And again, it's like you're washing the wall here. And so we're going to add this little roll back. So scoop the belly here. Come on back just a little bit. And again, scoop the belly. A couple more times. One more time. Back, reach to the ceiling, both arms up, and forward fold, hinge at the hip, look down towards the toes, and then halfway rise, let that heart come forward. Put the sit bones back on the chair if you've rolled forward, and bring that heart forward, we come into little baby cobra. Maybe reach into this chair pose, all the way up, deep breath in. All right, bring one knee up, and just let it flop to the ground, and then. Like you're getting patted on the back to wake up, wake up, wake up your feet. And again. All right, let's hold this right one up and circle it around again. Right? Nice. And again, resist the surge to really let everything go. When we do this, it's not so much in the hip, right? I want you to think about the movement of that in that ball and socket joint in your hip. Back to the front, extend it out, bring it right back in. And again, extend it out, bring it right back in. Two more. Last 
one. I'm going to hold it out there. Sit nice and tall and pulse. Eight, seven, six, belly in. Five, four, three, two, one. Down. down. Let it pull you forward. Down. And then looking down towards the toes first. And then bring the heart forward. That little baby cobra. Eyes up. Yeah. Release down. Push off that thigh. Come back in and bring that left leg up with you. Same thing here. Head over heart over pelvis. And just be aware of the movement in that hip joint. You see me okay, Jack? When I, yeah, there you go. Just a hair over and then I can see you better too. When I stand up, we'll be good. Okay, back to the front. Deep breath in. Exhale out. And I'm just sitting up tall. Just opening up that hip there just a little bit this time. Not worrying about my back right now. One more time. All right, we're going to hold it out there. Stand nice and tall, or sit nice and tall. Eight, seven, six, fire on the core. Five, four, three, two, one. Release it down. Let it pull you forward. Look down towards the toes. And then, like you're going to trace a line right in front with your nose, gazing up. Yes. I'm always looking for the perfect explanation of what I want. Yeah. <laughs> All right, release down, push off both feet together. Now, I'm going to lean them that way and just drop my hands down. So wherever they land, they land. Now, if you want to take that right hand and slide it into the back of the chair, the seat right there, that also helps me keep my shoulders level so my spine is nice and tall. Looking towards that right wall, maybe pull that right shoulder back a little bit more. Yeah. All right. Very good. Back to the front. Deep breath in. Exhale. We go the other way. Right hand crosses over, you can leave the left there. I'm going to reach through and grab the seat right there. And then looking over that left shoulder. Maybe let that left shoulder come back a wee bit more. All right, and back to the front. Let's take the legs a little bit wider. We'll take some seated cat and cow. Inhale. Like I said, did you see that thing on the ceiling? Huh? <laughs> How about on the floor? Huh? So look downward towards the earth. And then again, roll to the tip of the sit bones, lift the heart, and exhale. Scoop the belly, roll back towards all the way towards the tailbone. That works for you. And then again, keep that motion in the spine as flexible as you can. Yogis will say you're as young as your back is flexible. So this is an everyday occurrence, I think. Lifting the heart. Tuck the tailbone as you scoop that belly towards the spine. One more time. And back. All right. Find it nice and tall. Reaching out, and we're simply going to hinge side to side. Now, this is the rib cage that's moving. So this is high up in the spine, higher up in the spine. It's not down near the ribs. Think about keeping both sit bones on the chair. The longer the lever here, so the wider you take your arms, the more challenging this is going to be. You could even keep them here on the hips if that would feel easier to you and better. But don't let the sit bones move. Don't let the legs move. One more time. Let's leave that right arm up there. Follow it by the left. Forward fold, grab hold of the shins, look down towards the earth, scoop the belly, breathe to the back ribs, let them rise up. And then I'm going to place my hands on the thighs and roll the spine right back up, nice and tall. And then we get ready to stand up, so bring the feet where you need them, use the chair if you need to, deep breath in, exhale, hands to the heart, take a deep breath in, exhale, up we go, pushing all the way up, deep breath in, and release down. We're going to take five squats right here. All right, deep breath in. Touching the seat, if that's accessible, I'm going to move back a little bit five times. Here we go. Touch the seat, and then it's like you, you start to get down. Oh gosh, I forgot the remote. So you got to get back up, right? Three. Watch the knees aren't buckling. And one more time. All right. All right. Very, very good. Shake your legs. Let's move around the back and grab two drinks of water today because it is hot.
and downward facing dog. So if you can splay the hands out there and just put the heel of the hand on the chair, do that. I, I, if we were using a mat, we splay the hands out on the mat. And right? we point that index finger to the end of the mat. So splay the hands out, rest the heel of the hand. Walk your feet back until they're underneath your hips, whatever is comfortable. You take that deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower the heart towards the earth, soften the knees as much as you need to. And then let that tailbone turn to the back wall. And I love this image that somebody's pulling on your hips. They're trying to pull you, pull you away from the chair and you're not letting go. So you feel that lengthen in the back. And then while you're there, turn the tailbone to one of the diagonals there, right or left. You feel a little deeper lengthen on one side of the body. Come back to the center and then turn it to the other diagonal. Notice, notice if you have two different sides here. Come back to the center. All right, let's do that again. Just turn just the tailbone. I'm not doing anything with my knees or my feet. Pass through the center and turn just the tailbone. Yeah. All right, come back to the center. Tuck the tailbone underneath you and step into the chair at the same time, rolling the spine back up. Heels come underneath your sit bones as you come into mountain pose. Nice and tall. Turn the palms to the front and press them behind the back just a little bit. So they're behind your body here. So you can lift the heart just a little bit. And then we're going to come forward. I'm going to take this clasp. Press the knuckles down. Stretch across the back. Same thing again. Press the knuckles back. Lift the heart. Tailbone going to the earth, right? Knees are still soft. This is just the upper body movement. And then again, pressing the knuckles down with a little stretch across the back. One more time. Pressing back with the heart. Squeeze the shoulder blades. All right, let's take the right hand on the chair. I'm going to arc over. I'm going to push my hips over to the left. And come right back up. We switch sides. Push the hips to the right. Yeah. Pass through the center. As much as you are comfortable, push them over. And then maybe begin to gaze down towards the earth. Once you take your gaze away from the front, we're so forward thinking here, we begin to lose balance. So fire on the core there, using the chair if you need to. And one more time. All the way back up, turn the toes out, sink into the knees just a little bit, and then circle the hips around. I'm going to cover this up. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? Whenever we start to move our hips, people smile and laugh. And then again, other way, switch if that works for you. Trying to move nothing up here, yeah, just the hips. It's a flexibility issue in this SI joint, right where that spine comes down to meet your pelvis. All right, and now in this position, we stand nice and tall and find our star pose. So my toes are turned out, my heels are about lined up with the legs of the chair, and I'm not terribly wide. And I'm gonna drop the shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips, and sink the elbows down, coming into goddess pose. Push the ceiling back up. I like to feel like, like I'm using my fingers to do that. Draw them down. Push right back up. So strength even through the fingers here. Sink down. Shoulders on that wall behind you. Beautiful. We're getting this. We used to see this all the time. Yeah, but we're getting this. Perfect. One more time. Bring the hands in together. Let's cross the knuckles. And squeezing the knuckles together and then maybe the elbows as well. Nice goddess pose here. Everything scrap pitching my face here. Deep breath. Open wide, rest the hand, reach to the ceiling and hold. Look down towards the earth, trace your collarbone, come up looking towards that arm up there. And back to, uh, back to goalpost arms, other side, same thing, look down towards the knee. Now be sure that you've got that baby toe edge of your foot into the earth as you reach to the ceiling. Whatever is accessible, then trace that collarbone, come up looking towards that arm. Both arms up, star pose. I'm going to take a little creep backwards <laughs> and forward fold, sunflowers, lowering down, reach to the ceiling. And again, hinge at the hip and bend your knees. 
And if you're afraid to bend your knees, keep that chair handy and use the chair, all right? And again, two more. Last one, all right, all the way up. Hands back to the heart. Now I'm gonna travel into my warrior two. If you wanna get near the chair, come a little closer. Turn that left toe to the front and right toe faces the right wall. Sink into that knee right there. Open the arms. You're still looking straight ahead, head over heart over pelvis. Let's roll the palms to the ceiling and feel the shoulder blades come together in the back here. All right, we're gonna keep the shoulder blades there and just roll the hands. Nice. So chest is lifted right here. Come into side angle. Follow that hand up, 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 up until it's right over the shoulder. Wow, amazing. That front knee is still bent. Yes, lovely. Circle it around. Find that side angle again, right over the shoulder. And again, circle it around, find that side angle. Beautiful. Come right back to warrior two. All right, palms to the back. I'm gonna reach around and grab my thumb. I call this keyhole. And then bring it over towards your left hip. Yeah, shoulder blades are, shoulders are back together. And then I'm gonna turn my torso between the chair and this leg. So right to that space right there. Hinge a little bit deeper. We're gonna come into um, what we call humble warrior. This is your choice. You may stay right here. You can also use the hand or hands on the chair. I'm gonna hinge a little bit deeper until that front leg says, thank you very much. I think that'll be just enough. One last piece if you'd like. Tuck the chin, look back towards that back foot. Pull that belly in to support your spine using the chair anytime you need it, please. Take the gaze up, lift up, but don't straighten that front leg. We're gonna come right back to that beautiful warrior two. Head over heart over pelvis. Hands back to the heart. Yay! All right, we go the other way. Toes to the front. Oh, let's stay right here for a moment. Hands on the hip, thumbs around the backside, fingers to the front. Lift the heart, soften the knees. We're gonna lower the heart towards the chair. Using those toes, push back up. All right. And again, lower towards the chair. My toes are gripping the ground, push back up. What I want you to notice is have your, has your weight transferred back? Keep the weight on the toes. So rock forward towards your toes and then you'll feel them fire on, come right back up. One more time. Elbows are back, so shoulder blades are squeezing together and come right back up. We're gonna go the other way. Travel out to warrior two. Put that knee right over the ankle. Back leg is straight, arms out. Head over heart over pelvis, beautiful. We'll do the same thing. Palms to the ceiling. Feel those shoulder blades come together and slide down toward your tailbone. And then just lift the hands. Yeah, nice. So that chest is lifted. And here we go into that beautiful side angle. Up, 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 up. See if you can get that hand over the shoulder. If it's not accessible, do what you need to do here. But I would say, once you get the bones lined up, the work becomes effortless. All right, we circle around, see if you can find it again. Right there, bingo. Perpendicular to the floor. Again, circled around. And let's go ahead and do one more time. So you know where your warrior to, where your side angle is, right there, perfect. We travel right back up, warrior two, head over heart. You feel that inner thigh stretch, this front knee is still bent. Then I'm gonna keyhole, grab the other thumb. Bring them over by that right hip, which is gonna hinge your body. Now bring that right shoulder forward and you're looking between your knee and that space right there. It's really tiny and you wanna get a closer look. So you're gonna hinge a little more at the hip. You don't need to sink into the knee. You wanna keep it over the ankle right there. Now use the chair if you need to sinking it as deep as you're comfortable. Tuck the chin, here comes the humble warrior. Look right back towards that back ankle foot. <coughs> Breathe into the back ribs, that belly is pulled in, and we're gonna push right back up. Look forward, look up, look up. Come right back to warrior two. Really nice. Hands together, toes to the front. No, no, toes, yeah, toes to the front. Yay! <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna try this. Depends on how, Tall you are, 
right? But what we're going to do is we're going to hinge over and bring one hand in front. It may or may not work for you, but get yourself in a position where you could do that. You could come to the fingertips, all right? That's okay. Or flatten the hand out. Doesn't matter to me. So wherever you are, we're going to stand right back up. All right? Star pose. Deep breath in. Hands on the hips. We're going to hinge forward. We put that left hand down on the chair. So we're in wide standing forward fold, and I'm going to let my right arm go out to the side. It's parallel to the earth first. Deep breath in. Then as I push into that left hand, I'm going to let that right hand lift a little higher. I'm using it for a little leverage on the chair. Too much for you, keep it on the chair, keep it on your hip, whatever is accessible. Wide standing mountain pose, or wide standing forward fold with a twist, right? Release it right back down. That's about four or five words in Sanskrit, Sanskrit that I don't even know. So we stick with that. Switch hands. Belly in, you wanna fire that core on. Just extend it out to the side. I'm looking at my hand first. Feel that shoulder start to work and your core fire on. And as you exhale, press into that right hand and let that arm reach skyward. I'm using the chair for a little leverage. Beautiful, great work everyone. Both hands back down, get to the back of the chair. Push yourself right back up. La, 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 walk your feet in. Let's move back and we'll take that vinyasa, deep breath in. Forward fold. We take a halfway rise, heart comes forward. And circle sweep, pass through chair pose. Reach to the ceiling and circle the wrist down. Nice, nice, shake out. Grab a drink of water. once again, in front of the chair, sink into the knees. So feel that calf stretch in the lower calf right there. I have two different legs. One feels really tight and the other one not quite so much. But just sink in. Yes, my toes have come over my knees a little bit, but my back is straight here. All right, and then rise right back up. And again, sink down, sink down. Keep the back, the shoulders on that wall behind you. Come right back up. One more time, sink down into this position. Now, hinge forward and push the hips back so you can see the toes. Reach back. Maybe straighten the legs a little bit more. Come into this airplane pose. All right, we're gonna circle sweep. The arms rise up nice and tall. Lift up on that left heel, left foot, and all the way back. Come into warrior one. Rise up. Lovely. Drop your shoulders. Beautiful. Reach to the chair. Wave to that neighbor on your right. So sink into that back heel. Be sure you're getting a really nice stretch in that, in through that calf right there. Reaching up. Circle sweep down. All the way back up. Come away from the chair if that's comfortable for you. And we're going to push up to that back heel. High lunge. Crescent pose means lift the heart and circle sweep, step that back foot in, reach up. Okay, other heel comes up, knee comes up, we reach back, toe ball heel down. So you've stepped quite a ways away from the chair. If you don't need it, good. If you need it, bring it back, all right? Now I want you to reach into the chair, which means you're gonna have to hinge forward and then you're gonna wave to your friend over there on the left, up high. Yeah, beautiful. I like a little lottie da with the hand and little wagon fingers. That's okay. That's good too. Drop that right shoulder underneath the left shoulder. Sometimes I walk my hand over so I can really drop that right shoulder. Get a great twist. Feeling a nice calf stretch as well. All right. We're going to come swing that arm up. Lift that back heel. Coming into that high lunge, both arms up if that's accessible, one on the chair if you need it. My back heel is right straight to the ceiling. It hasn't dropped over, lift it right to the ceiling. High lunge, we turn it into crescent lunge by lifting the heart. Just like that crescent moon that's out right now, yeah? Lift it. Let's add this circle sweep just to step both feet together. Push forward, reach to the ceiling. Stepping back, nice forward fold. 
halfway rise. Slide the hands to the crease of the hips so you're looking at the back of the chair. Now, I'm gonna slide my hands down and tuck the chin a little so I'm looking right towards the earth. And I have a long line from the crown of my head to the tailbone, looking right straight down. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Those shoulder heads should point to the side walls instead of the earth, yeah? So shoulder blades are drawing together. I'm gonna swoop into chair pose. Be sure you can still see your toes as you come in. Reach to the front. Sink a little bit deeper and hold the ceiling up. Reach. And down. Shake out side to side. Have a drink of water. Come on back. Lovely, lovely. All right. So we're gonna to turn to the right wall and we're gonna start like, like we did the other day. I'm gonna slide that right foot back. And that back heel is gonna be lifted here behind me because I'm gonna lift that foot up very, very soon. So, reach that opposite hand, the hand that's furthest away from me. Up. You have the inside foot next to the chair back and the hand that's furthest away from me is up. So flex that foot and draw that toe towards the heel. Now, you know like that little bird that tips over and drinks water? It's got red fluid in. We're gonna hinge. And come right back up. Tap the toe for security once again, if that feels best to you. Now, what I want you to be careful doesn't happen is don't let that hand fall. See if you can keep that hand up there, all right? And if the moment you feel like that you want that hand to fall, don't go any further. Because if it's up there, you have this beautiful straight line. Otherwise, you look like a, like a mountain top, right? And again, hinge. You decide how deep you'll take this. One more time. And come right back up. Hand, top hand on that hip. And then I want you to swing that knee up right in front. All right, you're looking right straight to the right wall and hold it there. I have my right hand on my hip, my left hand on the chair. Try some balance. Relieve that hand a little bit. Just come to the fingertips. Maybe. All right. And then what I want you to do is take that right hand across the hip, across the leg, the leg, and then turn the body to the front. Like I said something, you didn't want to miss it. <laughs> fire on the core muscles. Feel those glutes fire up. And then maybe try a little balance once again. Travel back, reach that toe way back because I want you to get a stretch in that hip flexor and lift that body upright. Little bend in that back knee, reaching up and coming into crescent pose, lift the heart. One hand, two hands if you find balance. All right, reach to the ceiling, step both feet together, deep breath in. All right, we twinkle toes to the other side. And you're going to step that right foot back and on the ball of the foot there, reaching that arm up. Well, here's that little bird that tips over. See, straight line from the fingertips to the heel here, and that's what I want you to keep. Watch me before you do this. So the moment you feel like you have to drop this hand, see, now I look like a mountaintop, right? I look very V-shaped. I want you to keep that arm up. And you decide how deep you're going to take it, as long as you can keep that nice. Maybe it's just right here. All right, you decide. Deep breath in. Exhale, strong back leg. Hold that wall up behind you as you hinge. Come right back up, tap the foot on the ground. Regroup. Exhale. Micro bend in that front knee. Inhale, come back. And again, exhale, tinge. Nice, nice. You're getting it. Beautiful. <laughs> Plays well with others. Never runs with scissors. Follows directions well. <laughs> a pleasure to have in class <laughs> and again oh my goodness so nice all right we're going to take one more and then drop that top hand to your hip lifting that knee right up and don't look back to me okay i need you to look this way because you we're so forward thinking we want to look we want to we will find balance best when we're looking the direction our body is going. So see if you can balance. Come to the fingertip. 
Come to no hands. Keep, keep one on the hip, keep both on the hip. And then that left hand is gonna cross over that knee. I am gonna hold on to my chair here right now. Straightening that spine out. And again, see if you can find that balance. Find that focal point, find your breath. Let's go back to the side. We're going to stretch that leg out way behind you. Drop down in order to get this hip flexor stretch. A little micro bend in that knee. Reach to the ceiling. We come into high lunge. You can leave that hand on the chair or lift it up. It's up to you. And crescent pose means you lift the heart a wee bit more. That's all. All right, reach to the ceiling. Step both feet together. And let's turn. Let's take that vinyasa right to the front. Forward fold. Halfway rise. Oh, and then circle sweep. Come into chair pose. Be sure you can still see your toes. I do look down to make sure I can. And then I gaze forward. I'm going to turn the tailbone towards the earth and lift the heart. Powerful pose. Ooh, good stuff, huh? A lot of work on the legs. We hold the ceiling up. Deep breath in. And release down. Shake thine legs. <laughs> Turn thy body, <laughs> grab two drinks of water, <laughs> let's sit back down. Good work, oh good grief. We're gonna see if we can stretch these a little bit more. So let's go, let's go this way first. That leg and the back of the right leg is on the chair completely. I'm gonna drop my right knee down towards the earth. All right, and then that right, hip is going to drop that right sit bone is going to drop down as well because it's not on the chair got that and then with that hand that's closest to me i want you to reach over get a wonderful stride side stretch yep i'm holding on to the chair lest we fall out all right so come right back up bring that foot in front and then slide it to the back and reach across the body Lift up on that hand. Let's see if we can leave that leg back there. You can bend the knee as much as you need to, but you want to draw that tailbone underneath you more towards the ground and feel that great stretch in there. All right, bring that foot back up. Both hands on the back of the chair or the thigh if that's accessible. Don't fall out of the chair, please, just because you're hanging off one cheek. <laughs> and look towards the back, maybe even look towards the right shoulder. So get a really nice twist with both hands on the chair. Very passive twist, but good stuff. All right, we scurry to the other side. Same thing. Just that left thigh and let that right sit bone hang off. I'm going to drop my knee down towards the ground, hold on to the chair, and then really let that hip and that knee drop down and reach over. You should feel that stretch come all the way into these obliques here. All right, slide that leg out behind you. Reach forward. And then bend that back knee. We just leave that leg back there. Come into that nice stretch. Pull that tailbone underneath you as that arm reaches to the ceiling. Yeah. All right, both feet there. Hands on the chair so you don't fall out. And we add this little twist and look towards the back wall. Maybe look towards that left shoulder. All right, come on back to the front. And let's take the feet wide. All right, so right elbow down. Reach to the ceiling, just like we did in that side angle. Same thing, it's a nice vari variation of side angle because you don't have to worry about your legs here. You can really enjoy this stretch. Now, with this thumb, I want you to imagine you're going to put your thumbprint on the back wall. So reach back with that thumb, and turn that gaze to the ceiling. It's not going back far, but it's going to open the chest a little bit, stretch it. All right, let it come all the way down and sit up nice and tall, hands on the back of the chair, lift the heart. Hands to the thighs. 
I, I'm going to say come forward with the belly because otherwise we come forward this way. But the belly and the front of the body is going to come forward. We're going to come into this nice hinge right here. Put the sit bones on the chair as you bring the heart forward. And I'm using my hands on my thighs here. Feet are right underneath the knees. So if you need to bring them in, please do so. Release down. I'm going to use my hands, scoop the belly round the spine and push back up nice and tall. Head over heart over pelvis. We go the other way. I'm going to rest the elbow. And this arm is going to find its way to the ceiling. All right? If it's not accessible, put it wherever it works. Nice and tall. Drop the shoulders down. Find that reach. Make that happen. And then with this thumb, we're going to imagine you're going to put that thumbprint on the back wall and turn the gaze, opening the chest even more. So I've got a twist. I've got a bend. i got a lean. you got to fire the core muscles on to really protect that spine. All right, come up. Drop that hand to the back of the chair. Take the other right there. We're going to lift the heart just like we did in crescent pose. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Sit bones right underneath you. I tend to roll forward, so get the sit bones back on the chair. And then we're going to hinge into this forward fold. So straight back. So stay that way, right? You're going to lead with the front body. I hate to say the belly. I think the front body feels better because the heart's coming forward, too. You're going to take this as deep as you're comfortable. Use the hands for balance here. It's just fine. And then scooping the belly, release down. Careful if the head falls below the heart. Please don't get dizzy. Deep breath in and push off the hands. Roll the spine back up. Nice and slow. Move slowly and with intention. Walk the feet back together. Slide that right foot out. Hold on to the chair. And I'm going to use this left foot. Just kind of push up just a little bit. See if I can lighten up on my seat ever so slightly. You want to lift up? Go ahead and do it. I'm not going to. Squeeze the shoulder blades and let the heart lift really high. Keep the chin tucked up. All right, come right back up. I'm going to bring this hand across for a little twist. Looking over that shoulder. All right, let's do the other side. Slide that leg out. I'm going to use that right leg and push through the ground into the ground. Use the hands. If this gives your shoulder, shoulder trouble, then don't do it at all. Just lift the heart and my hands are just holding on there. It's up to you. Lots of options to make it your own journey, not mine. All right, come right back up. We're going to cross this arm over. All right, so feet underneath you. Just to relieve those wrists, grab your hand bones. Just give them a little pull out. And then maybe bend them down. Be gentle, be kind to yourself, all right? And then the other side, same thing. Pull the hand bones away. Maybe a little tip downward. Yeah. All right. And then one at a time, touch them in. And then go right back. And then rub your half moons <laughs> with your opposite finger that's next to it. Yeah. And then, okay. Peace. Love. Texas hook em horns. <laughs> all right, push all the way back into the chair. All right, and roll that spine back into the back. Oh, my God. So good. The right, legs out in front. Yeah. Gas in the brake. Or clutch. And then send the feet around. Right, turn the insteps out. Turn the insteps in. And do that again. Out and in. And then as if you were skiing on the edge of the mountain, you've got two in like that. And then switch this way. All right, knuckles of the toes together, and then click the heels. And what do we say? There's no place in my home. All right. And as if you're walking, tiptoe up the wall. All right. And then flat foot up the wall. All right, one foot down. We're going to lift up on that other knee, and then I want you to point the toe down from the ground. And see, and I got to move forward a little bit to this. Tuck that foot underneath. Now, if you have shoes on, this may not work at all. 
But as you get down there, what I want you to think about doing is pressing the top of your foot or the shoestrings towards the ground, which means you're really going to tuck that toe. It's quite a deep stretch for where you're comfortable. And try it when you're home on your bare feet. Okay, same thing. Lifting up, tuck the toe. And then you're going to pull it underneath there, underneath the chair. And then let the top of the shoe or the top of your foot press towards the ground. Yeah, it should feel, it should feel good, yeah. Oh, sorry. All right. And then release the scoot on back. Settle in, open your eyes really wide, scrunch up your face, let it relax. Like it was freezing cold in here, shoulders up, and release. Like there was a mouse underneath the ground, lift the feet up, that'll work. I've caught about 10 mice outside my house, but they're getting into my garden. Yes. Flex your feet, release them back down. Clench your hands up like you're furious, open your hands much better way to live, huh? Open hand, open heart. Close your eyes, settle on back to the chair. Release those powerful jaw muscles. Let that translate down into the shoulders. The core of the body. The hips, the knees, the feet. Follow your breath all the way into the base of the lungs. Feel the belly move out. And then follow that breath right back out. Let calm come over your body now. Bring in peace. And let some joy live inside your skin today. to wiggle your fingers and toes. Hands together at your heart. For where there is joy, there will always be miracles. Namaste. Nice work. Wow. <laughs>